Long Island Artifacts of Mars. This is a confirmed incident and happened on October 25th. Fighter aircraft were scrambled to pursue an object that was up in the sky over Oregon and nobody knows what it was. Something flew over the west coast in late October, that much we know. But the mystery plane disappeared before anyone could figure out what it was and has defied all attempts at identification since. Was it a classified U.S. government aircraft, a flying saucer, or something else? The War Zone reports that in the afternoon of October 25th, air traffic controllers started clearing commercial airline pilots flying between Portland and Seattle asked if they could help identify a mystery object. The object in question did not have a traffic collision avoidance system. Transponder turned on, was not responding to radio communication, and most intriguingly, could not be picked up on radar. Numerous reports saw so they saw the aircraft, but none came close enough to identify it. Numerous pilots. Ultimately, Oregon National Guard F-15 fighters from Portland International Airport were sent up to investigate and saw nothing. Warzone article also cites two Reddit users familiar with the incident who seem to corroborate much of what the air traffic controller audio has to say. The aircraft was near Crater Lake, Oregon when traffic controllers started asking nearby pilots about it. The aircraft was described as white object flying north between 35,000 and 40,000 feet. At one point in the air traffic controller audio clip, one pilot says Mystery Bird is 12 to 15 miles away and distances from other aircraft range from 4 to 20 miles. Another pilot observing the aircraft estimates an airspeed of 370 knots or 425 miles per hour on the ground, also knowing he is not getting a TCAS transponder signal. And then we get uh, get in the uh, speculation. One Reddit user said it was uh, somebody running drugs. Usual stuff, UFO, classified air, uh, aircraft, and so on and so forth. Very, very strange. Of course, I worry about uh, North Korea myself, if they have something. Or maybe there is nothing at all. It would be possible that all of these pilots or the aircraft were actually seeing nothing. After all, radar saw nothing. Told by air traffic control, someone in position of authority that there was an aircraft in the area. Pilots have seen something that was not there. Yet even the hallucination explanation has a problem. These pilots so easily experience what amount to mass hallucination and why is this phenomenon not more common? And why are these pilots flying? Good question. One pilot, United Flight 612, is asked by the air traffic. He sees a mystery aircraft in a very flat position. Quickly pipes up, yeah, we got him. He's about four miles away. It's apparent from the tone of his voice that he's been watching an object which he later describes as white spot. About four or five thousand feet above us for some time. Now, I'd say this wasn't uh, any part of this. God help us in North Korea is something that is supposed to be in. It's a UFO of some kind. It's a true UFO. I'll make that fight. Why not? Weather phenomenon, maybe, maybe not. I had to do a little small amount of digging to find corroboration on this story, but it's for real. 
That's not the first time a fighter, a uh, scrambled fighter aircraft chase UFOs. It won't be the last. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.